She was a life partner, a first lady, a mental health advocate, and a mother. And tonight, many are preparing to say their goodbyes as former first lady Rosalind Carter lay in repose at the Jimmy Carter Presidential Library and Museum. 11 Alive Savannah Levens has more on how the former first lady is being remembered tonight. It was certainly an emotional but really a beautiful day here at the Carter Presidential Center from 6 to 10 p.m. It was open to the public as people came in to pay their respects. I actually joined the line and we were led through the museum, which was really cool because you got to hear people talk about their memories and what they respect so much about the former first lady, about how she was a staunch advocate for mental health reform and advocated for women's rights. I actually met someone in the line who knew Rosalind personally. I asked her to show share some memories of the woman that she called a friend. We walked through her butterfly garden and she showed me where they would be buried. And then she said, oh, let's go have some peanut ice cream. She is the kindest, gentlest, most um, humble person you could ever want to meet. There were also a lot of families here, a lot of people who wanted to bring their younger kids to really witness this and learn from Mrs. Carter's legacy. Here's what one told me. Mrs. Carter was really kind of helped to build houses and that's respectful and kind. You know, in 1977, when Rosalind was first lady, she was asked in an interview if she ever tires of being first lady. And she joked and laughed and said, yes, yeah, sometimes I wish I could just rest. But she knew there was work to be done and she made sure that it was. She saw to that until her very last breath, which was taken by the side of her husband of 77 years as they held hands. And now that she is being laid to rest, all of these folks coming by to pay their respects to her life and legacy, all she's done for George for Americans and people around the world. Reporting from the Carter Presidential Center, I'm Savannah Levins, 11 Alive News.